Here comes the bull. 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 Um, what's good, boom crew? It's your girl, Annie Boom Fanny. Judge. Judge, it's no, that's Judge Joe Brown, I think. I always get them too confused. We got these two ladies on a show. Two black ones. <clears throat> Arguing over some fucking hairstyle the lady didn't completely rinse. I guess the perma, the lady here completely, so she did the girl's hair. So the lady gets up the next day, or a few days after, and the scalp done burnt. Done burnt, man. You gotta rinse that shit out. You can't leave no perm residue on nobody's scalp. Cause I can't fuck with that shit. I used to when I was younger. And I did it only because my mother perm my hair. I thought that's what I was supposed to do, perm my hair. But as I got older, even when I got older, I wasn't doing I wasn't jacking perms like that. Like when I would get a blowout, my hair would be bone straight. So I didn't see the need for perms. I would just get a blowout every two weeks. But then when I decided that I wanna my hair to be in this natural state, you know, had a lot of uh, heat damage, and that's fine when you, if you're wearing your hair straight. They call it heat training. Oh, god! Like right here on my face, and right here on my face. Um, it's like um, scaly. It's kind of like dry, dry. And I didn't have that issue, but. When I went to Virginia for the training for that last job that I had, and I was in the cold weather, when I came back, this whole thing had like scabs and stuff. So I guess now when it gets cold, I start to get little scabs on my face. Uh, yeah, my kitchen is my lab. Um, <laughs> you open the cabinets, you might not see dishes, but you're going to see all types of ingredients. Um... Y'all know the video, the exposed video. Um, that video was not supposed to drop. That video was not supposed to drop when it did. I looked at my phone and I got a comment. And it, it, it was a nice comment and the person was like, first comment. Woo woo. And I was like, bitch, I had to look. I'm like, what video she commented sent under? I looked the video drop and I'm like y'all I'm not trying to find no sound like no conspiracy theorist but you like when you if you if you've ever uploaded a video to YouTube then you would notice if not it works like this when you upload a video they ask you to fill out they don't ask you you have the option to fill out the description box the title change the cover the thumbnail basically and you can leave the video private. You can make it public. Public is it's gonna publish right there as soon as you hit save or scheduled. And I scheduled the video to be released on the 27th or some shit like that. And I stop doing that. Pick up my face. Um, I scheduled the video to be released on the 27th at 5 p.m. I like to release my videos at 5 p.m. because I figured. People are getting out of work then. That way when they get home and they're cooking and they're doing whatever, that's when they could, you know, kind of watch the video. That's my whole mentality behind my videos. And also, somebody was like, oh, your video long as fuck, but I, I watched them or whatever, whatever. My videos are intended to be like something you watch when you're doing your hair something you watch when you home alone and you you want to watch something whatever whatever if you don't have cable and you want to, don't want to watch i dislike videos that are 15 minutes like vlogs that are only 15 minutes long or something like that it's like what is this <laughs> you couldn't give us 15 more minutes so i always try to make i try to make my videos 30 to 50 minutes long okay you got an issue with that 
pause the video, go to another video, watch it, and come back to my video. Go to your history and then finish watching the video. It's that simple. Um. So anyway. What was I even talking Oh, the video was not supposed to be released. But it got released and I was like, it wasn't even properly edited. I was like, oh God, okay. I couldn't even take it back as soon as it went up because most likely it was a thumbnail and then the title. And that was my intention to like bring people in so that way I can clear up or clarify any confusion, confusion with my body. And that shit just hit the ground running, bitch. I woke up this morning it's on almost 500 views. I, I never got views that fast on the video. <laughs> Should be like 30 views and it'd be like 50 views and it, it goes up like that so i was like i can't even take the video down and re-release it I'm, I'm just gonna take take it for what it is but anyways thank you once again and thank you to the other person who uh was kind that's all i'm gonna say she from memphis that's all i'm gonna say get off her back <laughs> um Actually, I am about to go, hold on guys, I have homemade soaps that I've made, um, this one is kind of losing its smell, that's the only thing about homemade soaps, like if you don't shrink wrap them, they kind of will lose their smell, and I don't have a, the, the shrink wrap gun or paper, or like plastic or whatever, I just kind of wrap, uh, wrap them in wax paper and then call it a day. Um, so anyway, she's getting these two soaps. They still smell good. They still smell great. They just not as strong as they were. The bath bomb, honey. Oh, my God. This is half a bath bomb. This is hefty. So I'm sending her these three things. Just to show my appreciation. Um, these are just things that I made and what I was doing was when people would buy a bag or wallet or something like that um, when the people would buy a bag really I would send them a little bonus gift or whatever because I was going to get into soap making um, and I still can um, but I just think that it's I'm not as passionate about soap making as I am about making handbags so um yeah, so I could always make more soap and actually start selling the soap as a separate business for my handbag. But for now, whatever I have, when, whenever somebody buys something or like this woman, she sent me a little something via PayPal. If I can, if I have it to send, send to show my appreciation, I'm going to. So anyway, hey guys, hopefully I'm within view. The bag is done. <laughs> this is it. Do you know how much this cost? Fourteen dollars and fifty fucking cents, just for the blood clad strap. <laughs> These are so beautiful, though. Man. I wish I could. If you buy it, you'll see it in person. Yeah. If we get this bag, the stones may vary because I make a whole bunch of the same bag. It might be a slight variation. That's the bag, guys. You don't buy it, I'm aware. <laughs> Guys, I just got um you see your girl, she always found a spot. Um I just got these three shells. They have one, two, three, four, four you know openings. And they're quite tall, they're really nice. I have to clean them out. <clears throat> I'm trying to clean this whole area in the hole in the a walkway. A lot of my apartment's really small, so I'm trying to find a 
way where I can start stacking things to have more space because I feel cluttered. Um, but anyway, what suggestions do you guys have for this? Um, I'm going to, like I said, wipe it down. Um, what suggestions do you have? Do you think that, should I buy, like, um, how you say this thing? Is it wallpaper? And maybe put some in the back of each thing? Or should I just leave it the color that it is, white? Um, just wipe it down and maybe have, like, a candle there or something? I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions. You see, I done threw something in there already. Anyways, that's the cat and her ball. Um, she's horrible at jumping, so the furthest she can get is to the second shelf. But she's trying to find refuge in the, in, in this little um, shelf thing. So one of them, uh, I think I'm going to try to put like blankets or something at the bottom so she could have a little spot since I took her other spot that she was laying in. Right? Now watch this. That's the price of the beef. Yeah, so you decide which one you would buy if you weren't working and you needed to make your food last in the house. This is why it's like it's not that it's hard to stop eating pork. It's like they make certain things so cheap. And if you're on a budget, you buy it. So I don't know if I want to buy the ground beef or the, um, the pork. Okay. They got the potato bread two for five. And I'm going to get that. And I chose to get a uh, chicken cutlet. I'll show y'all when I get out. There's three chicken cutlets there, big size, for four dollars and some change. I'm not gonna get the beef or the pork <sighs> for now. Um, cause I just had. Sorry, hold on, guys. I just made that knee, and I don't eat a lot of pork, so I would feel bad if I just had. The... Been me for Thanksgiving and then I turn around and buy pork chops. I try to really limit my intake. I'm trying to cut it out of my diet. Period. Can I give my son some stuffing? <laughs> he loves stuffing. Instead of rice? I think he'd like that. 190. Do they have the bags? Stove top. I couldn't make cornbread and make it into stuffing, but I ain't doing all of that today. Yeah, look at my skin. I'm breaking out. <sighs> Sad. Anyway, um, I gotta get that collagen, and then I gotta get some type of daily detox. Um, because I feel like crap again. So I'm just gonna stop taking the MSM and the Neem. I'm not saying that the MSM. M S M and the neem are not good because it could potentially work for somebody else, but they're not replacing what I already was what I was doing. And either those vitamins are responsible for breaking me out, or I don't know. I don't know what's breaking me out. I think it's because I stopped taking the collagen. And the NSC24. The NSC24 apparently is out of stock. Uh, I told you guys that I, I watched the BK booty. And that's how I started taking it. And that shit legit. I distinctly remember my acne starting to clear up. My mood starting to be better. Uh, me being able to go to the bathroom regularly. Everything. So. She recommended a replacement called. Is it called Wormwood? I can't remember what it's called, but I ordered it. Um, 
I'll show you guys when I get it. And then I reordered the college and I ain't got it like that. But I said, I'm not about to be walking out here looking like fucking Bumpy Johnson. All right. So whatever. Um, I'm about to go to the coffee shop. So I'll be back. This cat will wait till I start recording to want to be picked up. I'm not messing with that. This cold weather is killing my skin. I got a few compliments on my skin, but I don't know. I think y'all jinxed it. That's just starting to look crazy. Anyway, so I want to address a comment. And this is not going to be a thing that I do frequently. Um... But when somebody comments something and I can make a bigger connection to it, I will, uh, you know, talk about the comment. But I'm pretty sure as my channel grows, I'm not going to be able to be nitpicking and realizing this comment or whatever. But anyway, so there, there was a specific person who, um, you know, a guy that I guess he has an interest in me or whatever. So a few times he mentions in his comment about me and be, me being dark or whatever, whatever. So I had asked him, why do you keep mentioning, um, well, why do you keep saying I'm dark or something like that, right? And he was just like, it was something along the lines. He, 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 it wasn't ill intended, but the way he was mentioning it to me, it just seemed like he was fetishizing me, right? It had nothing to do with the fact that he actually thinks I'm dark. There's nothing wrong if you refer to me as dark or, you know, whatever. Some people see me as brown. Some people see me as dark. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm black. So, anyway. Um, so, I had said that. I said, um, I, I said you, you're a black man and you keep mentioning the fact that I'm dark. I said, do you, is that your fetish or something like that? Now, some would argue that a black man can't have a fetish for a black woman. I agree with that to a certain extent. I think that if there is a black man who dates all kinds of women or who normally dates non-black women and then he gets with a black woman and his his whole focus is, oh, you black and this is, you know what I'm saying? It kind of becomes this, you feel like this item or property. And it, you know, this infatuation. So it's a thin line whether you feel fetishized or not. So that's the point that I was trying to get across. So um, there was a person who just recently comment, commented, right? And I feel like people either don't realize how intelligent other people are or they think that they're so intelligent that they can say things and people won't see right through it or whatever. And I'm trying not to come off as hostile or something like that, but I need to make something clear. I feel like people need to really work on their communication skills. Because when you're talking to people who have who have a fully functioning brain and who has experienced life, you can't put a pull wool over their eyes. So this person goes to say, Oh, dark skinned women have insecurities and don't refer to her as dark skin unless she refers to herself as dark skin. There's been a long history of uh, the black woman. And matter of fact, that's what she was really saying. I don't know if it was she or not, because I can't tell by the name. Um, uh, the insecurities, black woman and the day insecure and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm going to make something clear. I've never and will never in my life be insecure about my complexion. Never. Sorry. I was left in the oven for as long as I needed to be left in the oven. And I came out the color I am. Point blank period. And I'm proud of it. So, girl, don't start. I'm not doing it right now. So, anyway. um, And I feel like the person was trying to kick knowledge or put somebody onto game or something like that. And you weren't. You're being insulting. Now, if that wasn't your intention, so be it. But you were being insulting because you were trying to insinuate that I have an insecurity about the fact that you've re referred to me as dark or the fact that I am dark or whatever. Or be simply because I'm a black woman, I felt offended by his comment or whatever. No. 
my standpoint was I did not want to be looked at as a piece of meat, dark meat, white meat. No, I don't like that. So I had to check him on it because I tried to figure out why he kept referring to me as such. If you have an attraction to me, say you have an attraction to me, period. So we need to stop pushing this, this bullshit, perpetuating this idea of black women and their insecurities because every person, every human, every race has their insecurities about whatever. Mexicans, be it that they short, white women, be it that they're too pale, black women, being that they're too dark. It don't matter what it is. So stop singling out black women in, in our insecurities, okay? It seems as though we're always put under the fucking magnifying glass. And we're not doing nothing no different from what anybody else is fucking doing. But when we do it or when we say something or when we de defend ourselves or when we speak up or when we, we make a little statement or whatever, it's dissected and analyzed and it's, oh, she's insecure. No, but you got the wrong fucking idea of me. Let's make that clear. We will not be in my comment sections perpetuating any bad stereotypes of black women. We will not. If I make a video about something like that and everybody's in the comments and they want to say this and they want to say that and they want to give their opinion, then so be it. But do not try to insinuate that I'm insecure about my complexion or do not try to perpetuate the whole fucking idea of black women being insecure. Because the fact is the black woman is the fucking master key to the fucking universe. And I'm not even going to take it there. And I do not want to make my channel about black and white and all that extra shit. But if I really got on it, motherfucker, I, I'd have a lot of hate comments. Let's leave it like that. Anyways, I'm not even going to address that comment no more. But don't try to fucking play nobody like you kicking knowledge. And you're not kicking knowledge. Guys, this is not how this is really going to look. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep the books up there. And I just needed a place for my bags. I want to have a whole shelf for my bags, but um, this will have to do for now. I'm just, I just put stuff in here because I threw out the shelf that I had in the living room. That shit was giving up on me. Um, so Yeah, so my son's going to play sneakers when he gets in. My gym sneakers will always go right there. This is the cat's fucking scratching pulse, but guess what? She scratches my couch. Uh, instead of the damn. Y'all want to see my bootleg tripod? Look at this. Hold on. Let me show y'all what I do. So, I know I can get a cheap tripod, y'all. I just, I, if I don't have to spend money on something, I won't, okay? Because I just need to have as much extra, not extra, as much of my money as possible. So, that way I can pay my bills and, you know, do what I need to do. So if I don't have to spend money on it, I don't. Hence the reason why I ain't got my nails done. But anyway, so I put this like this, right? And my phone has that little, um, it's like you put your fingers through it. It's like a, a circle thing. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Hopefully, hopefully this is helpful to people like that's trying to film with their phone or whatever. Um, it has this thing, right? Uh, this case came separate. Somebody bought me this. Um, and this is glue. I just put glue on it because eventually the adhesive that was on it came off. I really don't care how it looks. I just wanted to be able to hold my phone. Anyway, so that now that's like that, right? So what I do is I have the camera facing like this and then I'll put, hold on. And then I'll have it like this. So just imagine my phone near the cameras there and I'll have it like this or whatever. And then this will stop my phone from sliding down and this stops my phone from sliding down so that's how i've been filming lately um just so i can get a uh, better quality and i've been keeping the flash on even like when the lights are on in the, my house because it helps with the uh quality as well so that's my little bootleg trick y'all <laughs> i actually went online and was gonna buy a tripod but i was like I can't, I won't, I will not do it. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. So if you're trying to film yourself, uh, and you know, you're kind of like me, you're just starting out and you need uh, like a hack, try something like this. Find one of your water bottles or something like that. Find a large cylindrical object and do this and it'll work. It'll get the job done.
What's good, y'all? So, these are the shells that go. It's three shells, right? And it's supposed to go in between two of these. So, my dilemma is that I want, because this is, there's some hood shit. Say hi to the cat. She wanted me to pick her up, and I just picked her up, so I'm not doing it. Um... This is what I've been using for the cat's bed, right? And I know this is strange because when I have to do laundry, I have to take all this stuff out. The bag that's in there is um, scraps of fabric that I had for years, like when I used to sew and stuff. So that's what I've been using to keep this up for her bed because she used to have this as a bed. It looks messy. If you touch her shit, she hisses at you. She'll swipe at you. She's had this since a very small kitten. It's all chewed up and everything. I don't touch it. I mean, I don't look at her. She's looking at me now, so let me move from her shit. But I want to throw that whole thing out. I mean, I want she can keep her, her toys because she's very particular. But anyway, this blanket belongs to her. It's the cat's blanket, all right? So what I was thinking with the shelves was... To put it in between here and she could jump up and then have one shelf be her bed, right? Um, and then the other two shelves, I will be able to like rearrange this and really make it look decent. For now, I just put shit in there just to put it in there. My issue is I also wanted to have a space to film. I wanted one of the shelves to be low enough where I can sit, like have a chair, sit there, and then have the camera facing me or whatever, and then I film there. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I might have to take an L and just use it for her bed. Because if I put her bed above the shelf that I would use to film my, my sit down videos then it's a high possibility that she would just she would just jump on that first shelf that I will be using if you understand what I'm saying and she won't jump on her actual bed because she doesn't she's not a she's not the best jumper she's very fucking clumsy so yeah I care about my cat that much that this bitch is affecting my decision <laughs> um this is a bag I made guys Ooh, it's, it's going to be bright. Sorry if you have sensitive eyes. This is a tote bag that I made. Ooh. There you go. So anyway, I have to move two of these apart and put shelves in them. Uh, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do.